what you as a pregnant or nursing mother eat, your baby eats. Limit your alcohol, caffeine, etc. Limit your toxin exposure. Eat organic when possible, scrub your fresh veggies slash fruits, and avoid most seafood. See all about environmental toxins and all about eating seafood. Of course, breast milk will be especially healthy if mom eats nutritiously while she's pregnant and breastfeeding. For example, PN parents Amanda Graydon had a daily shake with greens plus, creatine, glutamine, beta alanine, and kiss. She also supplemented with carnitine and a few additional nutrients, all of which can be passed along, in small amounts, through breast milk. But it doesn't have to be that sophisticated. Just follow simple and fundamental precision nutrition habits and take advantage of our quick prep tips, such as zipping up some fruits and veggies in the blender for easy and nourishing super shakes. Supplementation while breastfeeding. Breast milk will provide all of the nutrients the infant needs for the first six months of life. However, some babies may need a bit of supplementation at times. Vitamin D. Because modern life, especially in northern latitudes, leaves so many of us with low vitamin D levels, many mothers are deficient in vitamin D while pregnant and breastfeeding. Additionally, preemies are often low in vitamin D. This means that infants may need a vitamin D supplement. The American Academy of Pediatrics AAP, recommends a daily vitamin D supplement of 400 to 4 all breastfed infants, starting immediately after birth. Note, once formula fed infants are up to about 30 ounces of formula per day, which is usually around 2 months, you can discontinue vitamin D supplementation. However, it is recommended that breastfed infants continue vitamin D supplementation for at least 1 year. In the end, some babies can get enough vitamin D from breast milk. But the mom needs to have solid vitamin D levels for this to happen, which most don't. If you're pregnant or a new mom, check with your doctor and pharmacist about testing your vitamin D levels, and the best and safest options for your infant. Vitamin B12 Breastfeeding mothers who eat an exclusively plant-based, vegan, diet should supplement with vitamin B12. Iron A fetus will store iron from the mother's blood while in the womb. Premature babies need extra iron because they do not build up enough stores. Breast milk doesn't have much iron, but it is well absorbed. Iron stores will last until about 6 months of age, thus no iron supplement should be required during this time. Formula fed infants will likely get enough iron. Probiotics Babies are born with a sterile environment inside. As they pass through the birth canal, the mother's bacteria colonize infants' mucous membranes and gastrointestinal tract. This is normal and desirable, just how nature intended. However, in an environment of modern cleanliness, or perhaps after a C-section, this bacterial colonization doesn't happen as easily or well. This can lead to later gastrointestinal, respiratory, and or ear nose throat type infections in babies, as well as a lower immune system. In this case, parents can supplement with an infant probiotic formulation, talk to your pharmacist to find out what's best. For more on beneficial bacteria, see all about probiotics. Fluids and hydration. The amount of fluid in breast milk or formula will usually be enough, so normally you shouldn't need to supplement with water. However, infants easily and quickly become dehydrated under certain conditions, such as if the infant has a fever or is vomiting a lot, or if the climate is very hot. Rehydration is also crucial if infants have diarrhea. In this case, add a little sugar and salt to the water to make a simple electrolyte solution. Use urine color as a guide, dark yellow urine will signify dehydration. Clear urine signifies potential overhydration. You want to see something somewhere in the middle. Baby will undoubtedly oblige with a urine sample, probably at the most socially inconvenient time. Full.